I'm sure I'm not alone in saying that older patients who need a surgical aortic valve replacement are a bit of a puzzle. Should they receive a rigid prosthesis, which requires anticoagulation, of course, or should they have a biologic valve, which might deteriorate and require a second operation? Now in circulation is a study of patients aged 65 to 80 years from the STS database of patients undergoing aortic valve replacement. Now, these are big numbers, a total of about 38,000 patients with a biologic or mechanical prosthesis implanted from 1991 to 1999. So here are the findings. Both reoperation at 4% and endocarditis at 2% were uncommon to 12 years after intervention. However, the risk for other adverse outcomes was high, including death at 67%, stroke at 14%, and bleeding at 18%. The risk of death was similar in the two groups, but bioprosthesis patients had higher risk for reoperation and endocarditis, as you might have guessed. Lower risk for stroke and bleeding, however, were present. While these results were generally consistent among patient subgroups, bioprosthesis patients aged 65 to 69 years had a substantially elevated 12-year absolute risk of reoperation at about 11%. So it seems that the results are pretty much what we would have predicted. Among AVR patients, long-term mortality rates were similar for bioprosthetic versus mechanical valve patients. Bioprostheses were associated with a higher long-term risk of reoperation in endocarditis, but a lower risk of stroke and hemorrhage. These risks, of course, vary as a function of patient's age and comorbidities. One twist which was not evaluated was the potential impact of transcatheter valve replacement, which of course we now have in hand. Many patients with degenerative bioprostheses can now have a transcatheter valve implantation, making the risk of a second operation considerably smaller, hopefully. We'll see how that plays out in the future as TAVR takes center stage. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.